Hi everyone, Brian Strasser, Principal and Chief Executive here at BrightPath, and welcome to episode 215 of our Managing Uncertainty podcast. Today, I want to talk about one of the most pressing issues facing business continuity professionals today, and that is the rapidly evolving threat landscape that we see today. Probably the most complex threat landscape that I have seen in my almost 30 years of working in business continuity and crisis management. And it is almost entirely driven in the context of cybersecurity and digital resilience. And if this is not an area that you're thinking about today as a business continuity professional, this is something that you need to start delving into soon. In the past, when I got into business continuity many, many years ago, Business continuity traditionally was focused on ensuring operational resilience against a broad array of hazards. And those hazards back then we mostly thought about as natural disasters and supply chain disruptions. But the ascendancy of cyber threats presents a uniquely complex set of variables. They range from ransomware attacks to cyber extortion events, both of which can paralyze an entire organization to sophisticated phishing or spear phishing campaigns that can also compromise sensitive data. And of course, AI makes this even more complex. We just saw a penetration, an after action report of a penetration posted by the company Retool, where they had a sophisticated spear phishing attack aimed at their development team because development teams often have escalated privileges. And in doing so, the attacker was using AI to generate deep fake voices for actual voice calls to social engineer their way into the organization. And it was successful because out of multiple attempts of several dozen people, they were able to get just one person to click the link and move through the process with them, including this deep faked phone call. The challenge here for business continuity and resilience professionals is twofold. First, there's the technical aspect. How do you stay abreast with ever-evolving cybersecurity measures? And even if today your role doesn't necessarily cross into cybersecurity, whether you or even if you don't have a technical background, you need to start to take the time to understand what these threats are. You need to be able to speak the language of information security so that you can perform your role well as a, as a business continuity, as a resilience expert in your organization. So the first challenge is the technical aspect of staying abreast with these ever-evolving cybersecurity measures. That often requires you to have a close collaboration between your information security team and your business continuity or resilience team. You should have that in place now. To me, that's just table stakes of what you need to do. Second, it's how do you integrate these cyber risks into a broader business continuity strategy that also takes into account other forms of potential disruptions. This complexity, I think, gets even more amplified when you're looking at if you're a large organization because the sheer scale and interconnectedness of those capabilities of your operations make this even more difficult. It makes the task of strategically navigating uncertainty in this way particularly formidable. The multifaceted nature of these cyber threats, coupled with the intrinsic complexity of the organizational structures in our large organizations that we're part of today, is a distinct and pressing challenge for business continuity professionals. And I think this requires your role to expand from not just planning for contingencies, but also proactively participating in the enterprise-wide efforts to build a culture of resilience and agility, including cybersecurity or information security. That's it for this edition of the Managing Uncertainty podcast. We'll be back next week with another new episode. Be well. Thanks for watching our video. To learn more about how to manage uncertainty and disruption in your organization, be sure to like, follow, and subscribe to our video channel. And here are a few more videos that we've selected that will help you learn more about business continuity, crisis management, and crisis communications.